I finally saw this. I remember reading about it in a magazine as a small child and I wanted to see it so bad. Goku is Monkey Boy and Roshi is Turtle Man. It looks so bad, but I was so curious. I would have probably ate it up as a kid too. And I guess after watching the Korean film Five Son Goku, Win Son Goku, which was a faithful disaster that had me smiling a bunch of times, this on the whole is a little bit better while being in the same realm of cheap bootleg. In some ways, it's actually more faithful as a remake of the retelling animated film Curse of the Blood Rubies. But now they didn't have the licensing and this one got a wider release, even a dub that I watched because I can't find the original. And that DVD was released in the USA. It's very rare. So names are changed as I mentioned earlier, but they're only said a handful of times. And I'm able to hand wave that since the story is so familiar. It's much more coherent than the Korean effort. So this picture from Taiwan, I think more people remember for said reasons. The tone is very bright. The stunts are surprisingly good. The fight choreography is staged in a much more engaging way and the practical effects look pretty whimsical in a Power Rangers as sort of way. So it's kind of cool and fun for the time and budget. I didn't say good, but fun. Faithful adaptions are a fickle thing. If you aren't faithful hardly at all, people will hate it for just that, like Dragon Ball Evolution, rightfully so. If you're too faithful, as is the case with this, you run into problematic tropes from the source material and the idea that not everything translates well, especially from anime, such as the hairstyles. Then there's just the idea of the balance between interesting, faithfulness, and most importantly, execution. And that's where this struggles, because I checked out for a good bit of this. It kept my interest longer than I expected, but it's ridiculous, silly, cheap looking, but has a lot of heart, and I commend it for that. It's a, but it's a better effort. I can see why it would break among guilty pleasures for many people. However, every character is annoying, the dubbing is bad, the pacing is way off, and it's just got a general sense of knockoff to it. Cliche and tropey in all the wrong ways too. Did they really have to translate all the pervertedness from Dragon Ball to live action as well? I'm ready for an adaption to be taken seriously with faithfulness in the broad strokes beyond just the fan films. The silliness can be so grating I just had to take a break every few minutes. How the heck do you rate something like that? Listen, it's not a good movie, but I enjoyed it more than I thought it would, and as a Dragon Ball fan, I could even see myself rewatching it from time to time. It's better than the Korean Fight Son Goku film, but is it better than Dragon Ball Evolution, truly? Does a more washable film with Hollywood standards beat out a near bootleg film with questionable filmmaking, but more earnestness? That's a good question, and I would say I'm not sure, sure either way, but I just watched Dragon Ball Evolution, and this, it's, the answer is yes. This is better than Dragon Ball Evolution. The Magic Begins might be a rare case. I ironically enjoy something, but recognize it as still, well, awful. I give Dragon Ball The Magic Begins 1.5 out of five stars. We're gonna be covering Dragon Ball Evolution soon, as well as the two Broly movies. Stay tuned and remember, always look for the good.